showers. Sally dumped up to four months worth of rain on parts of Florida. And now what's left of Sally is bringing rain to our, our area. As Bill just mentioned, take a look at this video. Wow. You see people walking through almost to their waist. It is to their waist there. Dropped 10 to 20 inches of rain in some places. Had sustained winds of about 105 miles an hour. Right now, more than half a million people are without power in the Gulf Coast. And more than 20 million remain under flash flood watches. And for a look at the aftermath of the hurricane in Alabama, we want to go live to Elizabeth Lane. She's from our sister station in Mobile. You'll notice it took us quite some time to get down here to the Alabama beaches. That is due to the catastrophic flooding that has continued in this area. Thankfully, floodwaters have gone down here, but they were here for long enough to pick up these boats and scatter them all up and down this road that leads to the beach. We did just get an update from Alabama Governor Kay Ivey, as well as State Emergency Management Director Brian Hastings. Both of them are asking for people to have patience as linemen and power crews do their best to get the lights back on here up and down the coast. We know that the National Guard has rescued 35 people. The Coast Guard did 18 rescues. So this has been a very serious situation. There's been one loss of life. Any loss of life is too much. And people are definitely going to have their work cut out for them as they try to rebuild. We are still feeling the effects of Hurricane Sally, even though the weather effects have pushed out. There's still lots of flooding, roads and bridges closed, as well as debris in the area. So people living here are asked to use extreme caution if they do leave home today. Reporting live in Orange Beach, Alabama, I'm Elizabeth Lane.